Dear traders, welcome to another webinar from the GFD Brokers webinar series. My name is Zivko Jordanov and in the next 20-30 minutes I'm going to provide you with a full-blown market review and technical analysis regarding the six major currency pairs as well as major European and US stock indices. Also, I'll provide you with a technical outlook for gold and crude oil. So now, before we start, I would like to show you the risk disclaimer because this is obligatory. And in a few seconds, we'll switch to the MT4 platform and we'll start with our technical outlook. Thank you. I think this is enough, so I'll close it. Now, I'll switch to the Euro-Dollar currency pair, and before I start my technical outlook, I would like to say a few words about the market uh, and what has happened during 2015. As you can see, the US dollar has been appreciating against the single currency, and the, the greenback has gained more than 30% of value against almost all major, all major counterparts from the G10 basket, basically against the euro, against the pound, against the Japanese yen, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, New Zealand dollar, and so on. So what, what was the main reason for this strong dollar appreciation? Basically, markets expected in 2015 the Federal Reserve to hike the main interest rate. And the market expectations have been that on the 18th of September, Fed will hike by 25 basis points up to up to 0 0.5 from 0 0.25. However, this hasn't happened. The policymaker decided that the economy is not strong enough and they cannot continue with their tightening monetary policy. And the reason was uh, and uh, the result was a huge range so on top of that from the beginning of 2015 the european central bank started its quantitative easing program and the central bank provided liquidity of more than 60 billion euro per month and this is going to end 2000 ex early 2000 xc so uh, after the Fed kept the main interest rate, we, were, we are observing a huge market range. So I'll, I'll draw the main ascending trend line and set as well the upper resistance. And now we can spot that the euro dollar pair is traded in a very well formed bullish channel structure. On top of that, if we draw another steeper trend line, we can see that basically bulls are overwhelming currently. So now we have Fed kept the interest rate and basically the dollar has started a depreciation cycle that we could go through and see on all other major crosses as well as gold and Brent crude will also show that dollar is getting weaker during the last couple of weeks. So this this is possibly a retracement, a main retracement before Fed hike the rates and we see again the dollar raging. But for now, the fundamentals and the technical stuff says that we are in a consolidation phase where the dollar is correcting its value against the other major assets. So what we expect for the euro dollar pair is the following. If the pair is not able to drop below the first ascending support, we expect the bulls to push and test the main resistance located at 1.1730. Even if we see a drop below the first ascending support down to 1.1080 the bulls will still be the major uh, will still be the dominant party because 
the pair will be traded above the main ascending support of the channel structure. So basically our forecast for the euro dollar pair is very bullish. However, technically and purely technically, if we see a daily close below this crucial support line represented by the number 1.1080, will move and support the bears. In such case, the channel structure will be broken and probably we'll see a decline towards the support of 1.80 or even down to the main support at 1.4050. However, for now the fundamentals and the technical structure says that we are going to rally up to 1.17. Also, as you can see, this is the 100 simple moving average, so a very long one. The, the trend has been way below this 100 period moving average, moved above and below it, and currently we are starting to trade above that one. So this is also another indication that the long-term downtrend is stopped and now we, we are in a correction phase. So this is the technical structure and outlook for the euro dollar pair. We will move to the next major, which is pound dollar. What we have on the pound dollar? Basically almost the same structure. Since June 2014, the US dollar has been, has been appreciating until it reached the bottom and the pair entered a huge range. The range, uh, the range is locked between the 1.5150 support and 1.5750 resistance. However, as we can see, technically the support has halted the last push and from there we have very strong signs that bulls are running the trend. Purely from the candlestick perspective, the candlestick which we see here, the big one, is a very strong sign that the impulse is bullish and the prices will continue to appreciate. On top of that, as you can see, the pair is fighting with the, ascend with the descending resistance and it has halted and repulsed the prices twice, but currently we are observing that the bulls are able to overcome and keep trading above it. Also, we see that the prices have moved above all three moving averages and based on the overall dollar weakness which have been spotted during the last couple of weeks and even a month, we expect the range to con the trading to continue towards the upper boundary of the range located at 1.5750. So basically, our forecast is of a bullish move about 300 pips in the next probably couple of weeks or so on. On the other hand, even though if we see the bears to pressure and a daily close way below this descending trend line, again, we will still be trading above the main support of one point. 150 and until the prices are above this support we will we will say that the odds are in favor of the bulls and we will support a move towards the upper boundary of the range of course a break from one of the sides will be a strong signal for a uh, signal for continuation in this particular site and trend so again our forecast for pound dollar on a technical perspective is an up move towards the 1.5750 resistance. 
let's move to the next major a very very tricky one and interesting the dollar yen as we know the dollar has been in a rampage against the yen and has been in a strong bullish trend ever since the Japanese central bank decided to to implement strong monetary easing policy so that it could affect inflation and increase the overall inflation in the country up to 2% per year. However, during the recent uh, year, we have seen very sharp drop in the oil prices and the Japanese central bank was unable to reach its target and the yen continued to depreciate against all other assets, especially the dollar. This has been until the cross reached the important resistance of 125.30. Technically, prices tried to push through it twice and both times we have seen the bulls repulsed. And on top of that, we are observing a completed double top formation, very clearly defined with a very clear neckline. And as we can see, currently the prices are traded below this neckline. On top of that, there have been a major change in the trend showed by the cross of the 150 and 14 period moving averages. And if we look closer during what happened after the initial decline, the pair entered into a consolidation in the form of a symmetrical triangle. So basically this is a trend continuation pattern and as the initial move is bearish, the trend tri the triangle pattern is, is a good sign showing that the bears will continue to dominate the market. On the, moreover, we will see that the triangle is already broken this candlestick right there shows that the triangle is already broken and what we expect is the prices to move down towards the main support level at 1016. Basically, Judging on the, uh, on, the on the daily price structure, we don't even expect a push above 120.50. And if we see a daily close below one, one, uh, 116, the path towards 110 will be clearly opened. So if we switch to a longer period time frame, we'll spot as well the same formation double top triangle and the bigger the time frame the stronger the pattern is so this is very reliable price structure from a technical point of view on the other hand on the other hand technically we would like to see a close above 121.30 as well as above the 50 period simple, uh, the 100 period simple moving average to say that the bears have gained control again. And this is because first, we would like to see the prices above the neckline. And second, we would like to see the, pro the price above the dynamic support of the, of the prior trend, the 100 simple moving average. As you can see, the prices have rebounded once, twice, three times from it and as now we are in a downtrend we expect even though if we have a retracement up to the 100 simple moving average we expect here the prices to to experience a sharp bearish pressure rebound and uh, head towards again the 116 support so 
if this goes against our forecasts, the first sign will be a close above 121.30. However, the fundamental and technical structure for now doesn't, doesn't support any, any kind of such bullish dominance and we are strongly averse on this one. As we as we said, we're against we are we are expecting a dollar weakness until the end of the year because of the prior strong dollar trend and this we see as retracement of it. Now we'll move to the commodity currency pairs. Australian, New Zealand and Canadian dollar. Why we call them the commodities? Because the price of the national currency is hugely dependent on the price of the commodities as well because the countries are exporting and like let's say oil and gas and this export take really huge part of the national GDP number and the exports so we'll go to the Australian currency what we have on a daily basis we had strong downtrend and the last a strong downtrend which hit the support around 0.6950 and from there as on the other two pairs we observe a trend reversal patterns first of all the main support here has not been pushed and we see that the prices has tested it four times and and basically formed something like a double bottom pattern. On top of that, the descending resistance has been pushed and the double top formation has been confirmed. As we can see, the price is traded above the neckline or in other words, above 0.7. Our perspective on this pair is for a bullish move towards 0.7450 and probably towards 0.7600 where is situated a major weekly resistance this one basically the Australian currency has been quite oversold against the US dollar and if we switch to a bigger time frame like the monthly one we will spot the huge cycles of appreciation and depreciation of the Australian currency and when we draw the main ascending support line we can spot that currently we are traded right above it so here we have huge odds for the bulls to take control over the trend and reverse a main cycle of depreciation for the Australian currency leading in a rally towards the 0 0.86 levels and this is in a very in a mid-term or longer term perspective probably half a year or something like that but basically our view is that in this moment and in in the next couple of months until the end of the year we will see a major trend reversal on the most dollar pairs of course uh, we need this this should be should be correlated with uh, economic indicator numbers and so on but for now the tendency is bullish and our expectations are that the Australian dollar will move and appreciate around 300 pips towards the 0 0.7520 level. On the other hand, a sharp drop below 0 0.7150 will indicate that the bears are, are gaining control and probably will see a test of the main support at 0 0.6930. Now let's move again and change the currency pairs. We'll move towards the next commodity pair the dollar Canadian the US dollar Canadian dollar pair and this is the chart on a daily basis what we spot a strong uptrend 
and a trend line that has been confirmed three times. However, what we do not spot is the weekly chart. I'll switch to a weekly chart to show you something. Again, here we have a bullish tendency. Basically, the prices were able to keep trading above the main support at 1.2840 and the bulls are in charge. However, the prices are way below the main resistance which is located at 1.3450 uh, and I think that the rebound from the main ascending support is very tricky one I'll drive a Fibonacci retracement to see where exactly the price is currently and Basically, we are trading below the 50% Fibonacci retracement of the of this initial bullish move, and seeing it's how strong it has been, and I would like to see another few days how this push will will develop, and if we see a bearish pressure and a very close trade to the ascending support, this will be the first indication that. Next time when we test the support, it will break and will continue in a bearish fashion towards the 1.2575 support. As we expect a dollar depreciation, the dollar Canadian dollar pair is not different from the others. And even though now it seems very bullish because the price is rebounded from the ascending support, this could be just a very good trap for the bulls so that the bears could trap some bulls and pressure down break the support and implement a strong retracement that could go as low as 1.20 or even lower based on the very 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 overbought market on a weekly or even monthly basis as you can see because this is overbought on a monthly basis whatever we need to see some retracement and 125 is not a way at all. Also, the monthly chart shows for now a bearish pattern and it's still not finished. A close below 1.3060 will be a double confirmation for further declines. Of course, especially the Australian, the Canadian, the New Zealand dollars are closely correlated with the oil prices, which we will take a look later. We'll move to the New Zealand dollar currency pair and switching to it, we spot very, very good bullish trend. The initial down move has been broken. On top of that, the prices have easily pushed through the 0 0.6065 60 60 resistance and the resistance the resistance now current support has been confirmed by strong candlestick price action pattern this bullish engulfing one now we see a retracement and based on the price action the retracement will give an opportunity for the boost to enter long and our expectations are for a move towards the 0 0.7220 resistance so another probably 400 pips of a bullish move on the other hand a daily close below 0 0.6600 will be a sign that the main support at 0 0.6230 will be tested once again however the technical structure is strongly bullish and in the next couple of weeks, we will support an up move. Well, basically, now we will move and see how's the picture on the US stock indices. As you know, all assets are correlated and basically have a strong correlation with the US dollar. So let's switch to the Dow Jones industrial chart. 
on a daily basis, the Dow Jones Industrial have reached the bottom and dipped down towards the 16,000 level. Here we have seen strong support and the bulls took an upper hand and drive, drove the prices above the 16,900 resistance, confirming the resistance with a bullish price action, a bullish engulfing pattern. Basically, the after the Fed kept the main interest rate and changed at 0.25, the stock indices has been in a bullish rally. And this is normal because if you keep the interest rate low, it means cheaper liquidity. And cheaper liquidity is good for stocks. It's cheap borrowed capital. So that's why the indices are uh, basically benefit from this easing policy stance of FED. And what we see is a breakout of the downtrend and confirmation of a double bottom formation. Our expectation in the next couple of weeks are for a bullish move towards the prior highs around 18,000. On the other hand, if we see a strong down move that took the prices below 16,850, this might be, just might be a sign that a huge range between 16,000 and 17,030 will be formed. However, for now the structure is purely bullish and we expect a move towards 7,550 at first, followed by a push towards 18,000. We will switch to another US index, the S&P 500. Almost the same, almost the same, but the prices are still below the descending resistance and we see that they are not able to break through it today. However, again, we have a confirmed double bottom and confirmed support at 1993. As long as the prices are traded above this support, especially above this support, as it has been reliable a lot over time, as you can see, we will expect a breakout of this ascend descending trend line and to move towards 2100 or even 2130. However, a daily close below 1990 will be will be a sign for further declines towards the prior lows around 8875 let's see how the european dax is performing basically the stock indices even though i'm sorry <coughs> american or european go in the same direction very often because the stock market is um, globally interconnected so this is the this is the DAX what we have on the DAX chart on the DAX chart we have a strong downtrend that has been stopped by the support around 9,500, 9, 400 actually, and from there we see a range. Here the technical picture is not very clear. I expect that if the US indices start to go up and continue going up, the DAX will follow, but before it follows, we could see another drop towards the 9,400 level. 
for now the technical outlook is for is for uh, is showing a range trading between the support of 9400 and the resistance of 10500 so basically we would like to see a breakout of one of these important levels before we could say that the index is trending and that we expect a particular move to occur. As I said, the commodities, uh, the commodity traded currencies are very much connected with the commodities such as Brent crude. So now we will give us a fast snapshot of the Brent crude oil as well. What we see on the daily Brent chart, we see a strong downtrend that have that has stopped nearby the support of 4250, and from there we are entering a consolidation phase. So the strong bullish impulse uh, did not. Uh, has not been able to to win the fight and instead of a bullish and a rally after the initial retracement we observe a range trading if we draw the ascending and descending support lines we we'll see and spot that prices are trying to build a triangle pattern and even though the chart looks very bearish technically I would expect a move towards the upper the upper boundary of the triangle formation probably towards the 5350 level of course this will also give very strong support to the commodity trade to, to commodity currencies and it's likely that the Australian, New Zealand and Canadian dollar appreciate against the US dollar in a hard temp compared to other assets. But of course this is only in case we see the oil rally, the price of oil rally. On the other hand, a drop a drop below 4650 will be a clear indication that the prices are going to test the lows at 4250 and this will play a negative role in the Australian New Zealand Canadian dollar trading and it may signal it may signal that these these pairs will continue going down or in a in a retracement so oil should be should be closely watched when the commodity currencies are being traded so let's switch to the chart of gold and as you know gold is used by most investors for hedging and a bullish run in gold is a sign of risk aversion however gold is also closely correlated with the US dollar and seeing the dollar losing its value against major assets signs that it is likely for the gold to also appreciate against it technically we can see that on a daily basis the prices have pushed and have broken the descending channel formation and has started a new ascending channel pattern on top of that the prices are traded above the crucial prior resistance current support of 1150 and currently the trading is located at the up close to the upper boundary of the channel formation 
gold is closely correlated with the dollar yen currency pair and if dollar yen is going down it's very likely for the gold to go up and as we have said uh, earlier we expect the dollar yen to crash towards 116 close below it and push probably towards 110 if this is the case gold should keep the trend structure and probably we will see a bullish move towards the 100 1230 level however the the impulse is not very strong so we are not talking about bold moves but just an appreciation of the commodity along with the overall US dollar weakness so on the other hand if we see a drop below 1150 the scenario changes and in such case gold may drop to test the support at 100 1100 or even the the, the lows at 1078 so as we have seen almost all major asset classes show and signal for a dollar weakness and their technical setups also confirm a dollar weakness basically this is gfd brokers technical outlook for the main forex pairs gold brand crude oil and the main european and u.s stock indices we will need to give time to the chart to see how it develops and when we see you on our next webinar we'll talk about how our view and on the markets have uh, have performed and see if we have been right and the dollar is going to to experience a, de a depreciation until year end against most traded assets i would like to thank you for your attention now is the moment if you do have any questions so that i could answer them i wait a few seconds for this well i don't see any raised hands or question marks so i accept that there are no questions by by your side again i would like to thank you for your attention and i hope to see you on our next webinar where we will going to discuss an important topic of the candlestick trading patterns we will go and discuss technical opportunities and technical structures. So I hope to see you on our next webinar. Thank you again for your attention. Bye-bye.